Hi, this is Max from Dynamixis. In this video, I will explain how to track in real time with Grabber software. I'll be using Grabber 2.7 version released in October 2019. Grabber lets you track and retarget in real time with Live Instant or Live Pro solutions, depending upon the level of fidelity you wish to achieve. Real time tracking feature is also available with Performer Factory which is the complete real-time and production facial tracking solution. Grabber software also lets you record and monitor your facial capture with any device. This feature is addressed to another tutorial. Also, if you need to get further information about how to use Live Pro or Live Instant and how to track live in Unreal or Unity, please watch our other dedicated tutorials. Open your scene in Unreal or Unity. If you need to stream the tracking to a real-time scene on another computer on the network, go to the Network section of the menu. Click on the Service Options. Choose RTP Video Streaming and indicate the network port. I'll go ahead and select a camera as a source, but I could also import a pre-recorded video file. Make sure you're using the same camera as the one you shot the range of motion with, if you are planning to track a specific actor with Live Pro solution. You then have to load a dedicated performer project. There are two options depending on the real-time profile you created with performer. If you created a Live Instant profile to track anybody, click on Load Live Instant. A window will pop up asking you to select a Live Instant project. Please refer to our Track in Real Time with our Live Instant Solution tutorial if you have not created your project yet. Select your project symbolized by the ESC extension file. Select a camera calibration symbolized by the DMC extension file. Then select an operational mode freehead or HMC, depending upon your tracking device. You're now ready to track anybody. The name of the project appears in the lower bar and under the TC counter. Click on the small crenellated wheel here to launch the tracking. If you're losing the tracking, click on the turning arrow here to reset it. If you are planning on tracking a specific comedian, from which you have created a real-time tracking and retargeting profile, go to your tracking menu and click on Load Live Pro. A window will pop up, asking you to select a Live Pro project. Select your project, symbolized by the DAM3 extension file, and click on OK. You're now ready to track your comedian. Again, the name of the project appears in the lower bar and under the TC counter. Click on the small wheel here to launch the tracking and click on the turning arrows to reset it if needed. Since you're using Live Pro, you can click on the red ghost button here to check the position of your actor's head, whether you are using a HMC or free head configuration. It will give you the neutral pose associated to your project and help you reset the HMC on the head of the comedian. We provide some keyboard shortcuts. T is for starting, stopping the tracking. R is for reinitializing the tracker and Spacebar can play or pause a video. You can also double click on the preview to maximize it or press Alt plus Enter. If you have a microphone, you can use this drop-down list on the left and select your audio input device. The second drop-down list is only used when recording a video. However, to monitor the audio feedback, you will have to select an audio output device here on the third line. The delay option will allow you to synchronize the audio with the animation in your 3D engine. You can play with the tracking by adjusting the smoothing. To do so, click on the blue and red curbs button. See how the tracking and retargeting react. You can also affect the animation by smoothing the blend shape values. Go to the view section of the menu and click on blend shape equalizer. 
This is all for this tutorial. Do not hesitate to give your feedbacks and check our other tutorial to become an expert in Dynamics' fashion motion capture systems.